Hi comic book fans, welcome to another suddenlycomics.com video and um, I am getting ready for uh, selling comics at uh, comic cons. Uh, I bought myself a, a, a banner for uh, using it at uh, comic conventions, Suddenly Comics, it's all about comics. Um, so, um, and I have, and I am now selling comics on uh, VOT, uh, currently on Saturday nights at 8 p.m. So, um, one of the things that starting to sell comics has forced me to do is decide what is the, what, which of my comics are in my personal collection that I don't want to sell, and which comics are not in my personal collection that I am prepared to sell. It's been an interesting exercise. I mean, I've got something like 130 to 140 long boxes here in my comic rooms uh, and up in the attic. So I don't know, 200 comics a box. So nearly 25,000 to 30,000 comics. It's a lot of comics. So which ones do I want to keep? Which ones am I prepared to sell? So I have sat down and I have gone through and produced a list of what, <laughs> what I'm not gonna, what I'm not happy to sell. What's in my personal collection? So let me just um, give you this list. So first of all, things that make me laugh. You know, laughter is important. There are not a huge amount of comics that make me laugh. Um, so I've got Gru, um, Sergio Aragones stuff. I really like. It makes me smile. Occasionally makes me laugh. Uh, Spongebob, I now have a full collection of some Spongebob, that's going nowhere. <laughs> um, also, early Simpsons comics, um, I like those, they, those make me laugh. And another character I put on here um, is probably Howard the Duck. Uh, I'm not going to sell any Howard the Ducks unless they're duplicates. Okay, then we've got um, favourite characters, okay. And the top, top here, it's, it's the character I first started collecting, um, and it's Batman. Uh, Batman in all these formats, really. <laughs> so this is quite a long list. So we've got obviously got Batman, it, Bat, the Batman comic itself. Um, we've got Detective Comics, which of course is the main star of Detective Comics, is Batman. We've got Brave and the Bold. That was my first collection. I've virtually got all the Brave and the Bolds. Um, I'm missing about five or six early ones. That I want in highest grade, and they're not they're not easily findable. That always on my search list. Um, World's Finest is one that I historically didn't collect, but I have now got a decentish collection of World's Finest, um, and also Justice League America. Uh, those two I've really started collecting in the last 12 to 18 months. Um, one of the things about these, and I'm picking up the sort of um, <clears throat> Silver Age, Bronze Age ones of these, I think they're a really good investment. DC comics are cheap uh, compared to Marvel comics, so you can go out and get these at pretty decent prices in pretty decent grades. Um, Catwoman, uh, also linked to Batman. Um, the Joker has got a number of, of his own comics, so those are connected to Batman. And probably Harley Quinn as well. I've got a fair number of Harley Quinns, so she's connected to Joker, Joker's connected to Batman. So that sort of stuff is staying in the personal collection, unless I've got duplicates. Next up, probably my next, my next major collection is Fantastic Four. Um, probably not so much the modern stuff. Um, Fantastic Four, one to 200, the original series. Um, I'm, I haven't got a complete set yet. I've pretty, pretty good set. So early Fantastic Fours, you know, I have, I've got number two. <laughs> um, and I've got quite a lot of um, 20 to 100. Uh, and I think I've got most of 100 to 200. So I'm not selling my Fantastic Fours. Uh, Silver Surfer is linked to Fantastic Four. I really like Silver Surfer. That's staying in my personal collection. Anything Doom related, I'm a big Doom fan. He's going nowhere. Um, then we've got some other ones. Uh, Namor, the Submariner. I've got a very good collection of the first, uh, of the second series of Submariner. The um, um, 
silver bronze age run that's going nowhere lois lane um i really like the lois lane um superman's girlfriend lois lane um i've been collecting that for 12 months or so i'm going to continue to collect that so those are going nowhere moon knight um quite like moon knight um and uh, i've got a decent collection of moon knight it's not not completed by any means but uh yeah i'm not selling my moon knights uh sandman i've got a complete run of sandman i've got quite a lot of duplicates of sandman i might sell some of the duplicates but i'm keeping a complete set uh vampirella like vampirella <laughs> she's going nowhere uh swamp thing um another one of my favorite collections they're going nowhere right so those are the characters um then i've got a sort of favorite artist um kirby you know uh jack kirby new gods forever people 2001 i mean you know the guy was extremely prolific i like jack Kirk, classic jack kirby stuff so probably not going to let go a lot of that uh artist i've been collecting for about eight to 12 or 12 months or so darwin cook not letting any of those go uh, a modern artist uh, that i collect is uh, carla cohen not letting any of her stuff go uh, alex ross really like alex ross um, hanging on to his stuff art germ stanley art germ Lau, like his stuff probably not going to shift that much uh, dave stevens i haven't got a huge amount of dave stevens but what i have is not going anywhere and neil adams so there you go, some artists that I'm not letting go. What are you going to sell, you're saying? No, well, I've got quite a lot of stuff to sell. Uh, also, favourite authors, there's certain comic book writers that I will collect, whatever they do. Alan Moore, just, you know, if it's, if it's an Alan Moore comic, I'm probably not going to sell it. Uh, Neil Gaiman, the same. Um, and, and added to this list is James Tinian IV, my current favourite comic book writer, love his stuff. Um, so again, unless I've got duplicates, I won't be selling him any of his stuff. Right, there's then some stuff which is to do with um, publishers. Um, and um, uh, I, I'm a big collector of uh, Alan Class comics, but I've refined that. So it's Alan Class pre-decimalisation, okay? So Alan ran from 1959 to 1989. Decimalization occurred in 1971. So I really only collecting the Alan class between 59 and 71. So about a 12 year period. Um, so yeah, so I will be prepared to sell my Alan class post 71, but I will continue to collect Alan class pre-decimalization. Pacific Comics, I love the Pacific Comics stuff and I continue to add to that collection when I get it. Um, themes, um, so one of the themes that I am currently collecting is Bronze Age horror, whether it be um, Marvel, DC or independent. Okay, there you go, all that stuff in my personal collection. What am I selling? Right, so this is, this is my selling list, so it's quite long. Um, probably foremost at the top is um, well an easy one is duplicates okay so quite a lot of stuff I've got duplicates I've got a box here full of duplicates that I'll be taking um, bronze silver age that I'm going to put up on VOT I'll take to comic conventions so duplicates is an easy one that's an easy one to say because I've still got another copy so I don't feel too bad about selling duplicates right Probably my two biggest collections that I'm up for selling are my Spider-Man stuff. And I've got a lot of Spider-Man. I've got a lot of Spider-Man um, issues uh, between issues one and a hundred. I haven't got issue one. <laughs> but I've got a lot of Spider-Man. Um, and I've got all sorts of spider stuff. I've got four, four or five boxes full of Spider-Man. Um, X-Men. I've got huge quantities of X-Men. I don't really collect X-Men. All the spin-offs, X-Force, X-Factor, all that sort of stuff. All that's, all that's up for sale. All that's in the, I'm happy to sell. Captain America. I've got a fair amount of Captain America. Again, he's not in my PC. He's, he's one of the ones I'm afraid is on the sell list. 
Iron Man. I've got quite a lot of Iron Man. <laughs> Just accumulated over the years. Um, yeah, he can go. Thor. This is a bit of a tougher one. Probably the most difficult one here is Thor. Um, quite like Thor, and I love some of the covers. So I put Thor on this list, but I probably it'll probably hold him back until the end. <laughs> Green Lantern, Green Arrow. Never been into Green Lantern, but I've got quite a lot of Green Lanterns and Green Arrows. Flash. Never, never been my cup of tea. He's not one of the heroes I've collected, but I do have quite a lot of Flash. Uh, Daredevil, similar, you know, some great Daredevil stuff out there, some nice covers, but I have decided it's not PC, not in my personal collection. Some of these tricky decisions, but you know, um, I've, I've, I'm not, I'm not going to expand my collection. So if I'm going to bring stuff in, which I want to do on my PC stuff, I need to clear out. Uh, some other stuff so part of this is space management you know um, I've got my attic I've got these quite large two room comic rooms but it's not going out of that and the comic rooms are pretty full so um, part of this is driven by space management um, Wolverine falls into the X-Men category for me I've got a lot of Wolverine I'm happy to sell Wolverine Star Wars I've got two boxes full of Star Wars um, I'm happy to sell that. Wonder Woman, that was another tricky one. I've got quite a lot of Wonder Woman. Um, yeah, I'm happy to let her go. Black Panther, yeah, likewise. Spawn, I collected, I had Spawn on my pull list. Um, so I've got issues 1 to 80 of Spawn. But I'm not... I'm not I'm not attached to Spawn in the same way as I am to some of the other characters. So I'm happy to sell my Spawn. Uh, Avengers. I've got quite a lot of Avengers. I'm happy to sell Avengers so that I can invest more in my Justice League America collection. And Deadpool. Okay. There's some characters I haven't written on either list and I'm undecided about. So Doctor Strange, for instance, you didn't hear on either list. So he's, he's, in, he's in limbo at the moment. <laughs> okay. So that's my um pc list and comics i'm happy to sell so if you're out there and you're interested in knowing what's available um i'm probably happy to sell um probably around 10 to 20 percent of fair market value and if you buy more i'll give you a bigger discount so if there's anybody out there who's interested in any of those characters interested to know what i've got that's for sale uh put a comment below or just contact me at mark at suddenlycomics.com. Okay, um, what am I buying? Well, I'm still buying, okay? So first off, I will buy stuff for my PC. If it falls into any of those categories I described as my PC and I see them out there and I think they're a good deal, I'll buy them. Generally, I'm looking at buying for 20, 20, 10 to 20% or more off fair market value. Um, if I see them, I will get them. So, for instance, I did buy a chunk. I bought eight early um, Justice League Americas just the other day because I got them at way less than 20% of farm fair market value. But those are going in the personal collection. I will also buy stuff that um, I'm generally looking at buying at 50% or more off fair market value to move on to other people. OK, because if I can buy it for 50 percent less than fair market value, it means I can sell it to people at 20 to 30 percent less than fair market value. They get a deal and I get a deal. Now, you might say that's challenging. No, I, I've um, I have been able to buy stuff um, at uh, 50 percent or less than fair market value. And I have moved some of it on at 20% to 30% less than fair market value. So I've made some money. The person who's bought off me has got a good deal. Um, so yeah, um, and I do scour the various purchasing options for those sort of deals, not for my personal collection, but to move on. So what am I personally looking for? What am I collecting at the moment? I think I've said I'm collecting, uh, it's DC mainly. Um, because I think DC is really good value. DC keys are really good value at the moment, and I think they will recover. So I'm collecting Justice League America, especially the early issues. 
Um, again, same with World's Finest. Um, I think there's, there's a solid runs, solid, great looking covers, um, and you can get them in decent. I'm looking at buying decent conditions. I don't want twos and ones. I'm looking for, you know, mm, fine, fine to very fine sort of condition. I'm not looking for 9.8s. Um, Lois Lane, I'm collecting Lois Lane currently. And my other thing that I'm going to be collecting this year is some um, Bronze Age horror, Marvel, DC, independent. I think Bronze Age horror is a currently um, undervalued part of the market. There's some great covers out there by some great artists. Um, so I'm keeping my eyes out for that. So there you go. There's my summary of uh, what's in my personal collection, what I'm selling and what I'm buying. I hope this has been interesting. That's your lot. See you again soon. And remember, it's all about comics.